What's up you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you're already a part of my family, then welcome back. Thank you guys for coming over and watching another fragrance video with me. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about decants. But before we get into that, if you're someone that is interested in fragrances, maybe you're updating your collection, maybe you want to know a little bit more about a particular fragrance, or you just love to hear me talk about fragrances, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscription button down below. Like I said, I'm gonna be talking about decants. And I have some decants here that I want to go over with y'all. I'm not gonna talk about every decant in this, in my little collection because that would take entirely too long. I will just pick out certain decants that I really, really do like. So the reason why I would go for a decant versus a full size bottle is sometimes I'm on the fence about a fragrance. I like it, but do I like it enough to purchase a full size bottle, okay? Another reason why I go for decants is because I love variety, like I love options. I love being able to have to pick more than one fragrance. I don't necessarily want to be committed to just one fragrance. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of fragrances in my collection and they, some of them are similar, but a lot of them are very different. So, so before we get into my favorite decants, I want to share this beautiful decant gift box that was sent to me from Decant X, okay? This is beautiful. So if you are not familiar with Decant X, they are an online uh, decant company. They carry a ton of fragrances, some designers, some niche, high end, hard to find, you name it, they have it, okay? So if you are someone that is maybe just getting into fragrances and you don't really know where to start, maybe you have an idea, of fragrances that you want to smell before you actually commit to buying a full-size bottle, I would highly recommend you go over to Decant X, check out their websites, buy some decants, and then go from there. So let's get into this box. All right, first of all, let's talk about the presentation. This is a very sturdy box, okay? It has a very canvas-type feel to it. The back is blank. Uh, and the box is black. I don't know if it's coming off black on screen, but it's black, okay? And it has the gold detail on the front with their company logo and their company name. Now, when you open up the box, you get five lovely decants here, okay? Now, these decants are 5 ml, but you can get them in 10 ml if you'd like. You do have the option of picking your own fragrances. Or, if you're feeling a little risky, you can let them pick your fragrances for you and they will send them in this beautiful box, okay? So, again, I have five fragrances here. I'm going to go through each fragrance that I have with you and show you what the decants look like, okay? So, this is velvet, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. It's but holding the fragrances real nice so they're not falling out and potentially could break. Just but yeah put your finger in there and the fragrance pops out and this is what they call i believe they call this their lipstick holder so you just twist it and the fragrance comes out like that and you can just give it a little spray boom oh my god this is beautiful okay so let me go over the fragrances that i have like i said i picked my own fragrances this is a decant of Urba Pura by Zhirzhov. Now, this fragrance is, I don't, I'm not gonna say this fragrance is ultra popular on YouTube, but I have seen a few fragrance reviewers talk about this fragrance. And I have a dupe of this fragrance um, that's made by Al Haraman, and it's the Amber Oud Gold Edition, I believe. And guys, I'm smelling this fragrance right now. And it is definitely reminding me of the uh, Oud Amber Gold Edition, okay? So beautiful. It's kind of fruity. It has a fresh feel to it. It may have a little citrus in it, but for the most part, this fragrance is, is sweet to me. This fragrance is very loud as well, okay? Also, the Al Haramein. When I tell you those two... Oh my God, they smell so much alike. They smell so much alike. So my next fragrance I'm grabbing here is 
I think this is the Raja. Yeah, this is 51 Perfume by Raja Perfumes. Yeah. Raja Dove makes some very high-end, expensive fragrances. But I wanted to show you guys what I had because it just lets you know that Decant X carries a lot of different fragrances from designer to niche to high-end. Whatever you're looking for, I'm pretty sure they have it, okay? But... This fragrance is so gorgeous. This is gonna be the type of fragrance where I wear it on special occasions, maybe a date night or birthday or anniversary. It has to be something major going down for me to pull out the Raja, okay? That is how I feel about this fragrance, but it is a beautiful, classy fragrance. Oh, I love this. Again, this is 51. Parfum by Raja Parfums. Right. And the next one I'm gonna grab here is, which one is this? This is Kajal Lamar. Now, I have seen this fragrance talked about on YouTube over the last three to four weeks. You guys, this is a very, very popular fragrance amongst us in the fragrance community. I don't have it right now, but I wanted to get my nose on it and see what the hype was about. And the hype is well deserved. You know, at first sniff, this reminds me of Baccarat. Just at the first initial spray. Now, once it dries down, it, it does not remind me of Baccarat. But, I mean, in, is it Baccarat or is it Creed? I don't know. It's, it's reminding me of either Creed, Aventus, Her, or Baccarat. One of those two, okay? But this is a really, really beautiful fragrance. Very, very loud. And I do enjoy it. And I kind of, I feel like at some point I would like to get a full bottle of this. The bottle is absolutely stunning. I'm going to put a picture up so you guys can see what the bottle looks like. But it's absolutely beautiful. I believe they are a Middle Eastern a perfume company but the bottle is gorgeous okay i want it just for the bottle alone child because the bottle is everything all right my next fragrance i have here is from tom ford and this is effing fabulous as much as people have talked about this fragrance on youtube i have to say i'm on the fence with this fragrance i smelled it when it first came out and I don't know, there's just something, let me just spray this a little bit so I can actually just really get it in my nose and see what it's giving. I don't know, okay, so I wanna look at the notes too. I don't know if there's lavender in this fragrance. But yep, that's what it is, it's the lavender. If it wasn't for the lavender in this fragrance, I think I would actually enjoy this fragrance because just by looking at the notes, it has a lot of notes that I really do enjoy in fragrances like almond, leather, vanilla, orris, tonka bean, cashmerian scent, woody scents, amber, but it's the lavender in the top for me that's throwing me off. It's, mm. It just, I don't know, I don't like it. It reminds me of a, a diaper, okay? I hate to say that because y'all know I'm a huge, huge, huge lover of Tom Ford fragrances. But again, that is why I got this fragrance in a decant because it, as much as I want to love it, I really, really don't. And I probably will end up gifting this to someone that actually likes this fragrance because it is not my fave. And that just goes to show, even though I'm a big, huge Tom Ford fan, I love his fragrances. The man can do absolutely no wrong in my eyes, but honey, he he did wrong on this one for me anyway. But yeah, it's the lavender that I cannot get around. Okay. Another reason why I would say get a decant because I'm just not, I'm, I'm probably not going to commit to a full size bottle, to be honest with you. All right, my last fragrance which is bay y'all know i already smell these fragrances okay and plus i did pick them out <laughs> but this is oud sad mood by maison francis kirk dijon oh my god i love this fragrance if i had to rank the mfk fragrances 
this would definitely okay so baccarat is going to be my number one this would definitely be number two and gentle fluidity gold would be number three as of right now i haven't smelled all of his fragrances but that is my ranking as of right now i simply love this fragrance i love it and you're talking about a beautiful rose oud it just has a very smooth classy vibe to it you know some ouds can come off very heady uh, a little bit clawing it, they can come off a little stinky oh my god but the oud satin mood mwah, chef's kiss it is amazing you guys if you have not smelled it i would highly recommend you get your nose on it girl get now Here's another reason why I would recommend a decant. Oud Satin Mood is going to run you about 300 bucks, okay? This decant is not. So, and look at it. You're going to get some nice sprays out of this, okay? This is a 5 ml. This will probably last you because I don't see you grabbing it. Okay, let me speak for myself. If I didn't own the bottle... I would not grab for this all the time. I would definitely, you know, reserve this fragrance for special occasions, okay? And because I'm doing it that way, this decant will probably last me for about a good six to eight weeks. Maybe two months, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not grabbing it like that. I'm only going to be spraying it on special occasions. And so. There's a hundred reasons why decants would be a perfect option for you. Okay? I've proven my case. They're affordable. It gives you a chance to explore different fragrances. You can literally build a collection on decants, honestly. I'm just saying. But if you're not ready to commit to a fragrance, decant is a good option okay i simply love this gift box i think it is beautiful it will make a lovely gift for someone for their birthday for christmas so if you just want to buy someone a beautiful gift if you know, know someone that's a perfume enthusiast like myself they love to smell good it just gives them options and decant x has never disappointed me and their packaging comes very wrapped up. Nothing is ever leaked. It's just, I just really, really dig them, okay? I think they're an amazing decant company, and I highly, highly recommend that you guys go to their website and check out some of their decants, okay? Decant X, thank you guys for sending me this beautiful gift set. I love it so much. So let's go over here to some decants that I already have in my collection. Now, my favorite decant I'm going to pull out a decant for y'all that I've had probably since 2005, maybe 2006. And this is My Insolence by, is this by Guerlain? I think this is by Guerlain. Yeah, this is My Insolence by Guerlain. And as you guys can see, I thoroughly enjoyed that fragrance. This is the original formula. I I, don't quote me on this, but I think that the formula has been changed. So this is the original formula. So I'm trying to hold on to it as much as possible. But oh, this is a very pretty powdery. I can't think of the flower that's in it. Is it orris? Is it violet? I don't know. But it's very pretty and very powdery. And I love it. And I am saving this last little drop, okay? So that's one of my favorite decants. Another favorite decant is, this is Burberry Her. This is the original fragrance. Now, I have put a little dent in it, but I'm more partial to the intense version, which is, and I did invest in a full-size bottle of the intense version. Both, the, both of them are similar in, in smells, okay? Now, the intense has a little bit more of a cherry note in it that I really, really like over the original, so... I didn't want to commit to a full-size bottle of the original, so I just did the next best thing, and I got a cute little decant, okay? All right, what else do we have here? I have Hannah More. I also have a full-size bottle of the Hannah More. I have C. This is the original formulation of C. You guys know they've changed 
the formulas. But there's something about this old formulation, y'all, that, oh my God. I'm going to put a little bit on my wrist. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, you're doing the most. Oh, look at that. It's running down. Can y'all see that? Oh, there's something so beautiful about that original formulation. So I'm holding on to it, y'all. I'm holding on to it. Holding on. I have some Fantasy by Britney Spears. I have Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Um, What else do I have here? Let me see. I have some Marc Jacobs Decadence. Is this a rollerball or is this a spray? I think this is a spray. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. This is a rollerball. Oh, that smells good to me. I don't care what y'all say. This do not smell like pickles, okay? But I do love pickles anyway, honey. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is... Balenciaga. This is the Essence Balenciaga. I have some Penrose here. Yes, this is Secret Genius. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I have some Artelier. This is Vanille Intense. Love this. Now, this is something that I would layer with because I love layering my fragrances with vanilla. I also like layering my fragrance with molecule 01 this is also from decant x they sent me this a uh, while back this is uh eccentric molecule 01 this is a very 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 unique scent now at first i was a little put off by this scent because to my nose it smells a lot like cedar supposedly so. this fragrance is supposed to enhance your own natural smell so i guess naturally i smell like cedar i don't know but i actually love it okay and i love um layering this fragrance with fragrances like baccarat so i have put a little bit of a dent in here i don't know if you guys can tell but yeah i am definitely going to invest in a full-size bottle this fragrance is very unique and it smells very weird and i love weird and unique smells so yeah love that one but yeah you guys i cannot ooh. and my other decants in here i'm not going to go through them because i have a ton of decants in here decants are going to be a perfect option for those of you that are not necessarily ready to commit to full-size bottles or you don't have the money to pay for a full-size bottle and it's just a cheaper version for you to smell beautiful and to wear your favorite fragrance so i would highly recommend you guys go down in the description box click on decant x go over just browse their website okay just browse their website and whatever fragrance you can imagine that you think you may want search it on their website and i guarantee you it's gonna pop up because they have a huge selection of fragrances and i know that because i purposely Search all the fragrances that I wanted to smell. I was super surprised that they had Kajal on there. I don't know how long Kajal has been out, but it seems like people just started talking about Kajal like a month ago and they had it on their website. I was impressed, okay? I was really, really impressed. And so, if any one of you out there have ordered from Decan X, comment down below your experience with your order so the girls know how it went okay because you know a lot of people are very skeptic when it comes to buying things online i know i am knock on wood i've been lucky enough to get exactly what i wanted when i ordered online but yeah sometimes you know it can be a little risky so comment down below let us know what your experience was like okay also let me know what decants you have in your collection if you're on the fence with that fragrance and why you're not ready to commit i'm curious to find out what it is okay if you are into fragrances like me if you are a fragrance lover a fragrance enthusiast maybe you're building a collection and you need some ideas i would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video i try to upload every monday wednesday and friday hit the like button it lets me know that you guys are loving the content that I'm bringing you. You are digging me. You're vibing with me. We are right here when it comes to fragrances. I hit the thumbs up button. 
And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.